Let's talk about how to prepare your audition sheet music. To start, make sure you're using a clean, legible edition of the song you want to sing. Avoid music that is handwritten and not typeset. And also make sure you've gotten a version with full piano accompaniment, rather than just a lead sheet with chords. There should be at least one staff for the vocal line and two for the piano, a right hand and a left hand. If you're making a copy of your music from a songbook, take extra care to ensure that no music is cut off. Most songbooks need to be reduced by about 93% to fit on a standard 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Some people will tell you to use plastic sheet protectors, while others recommend just hole punching the paper itself. If you choose to use sheet protectors, make sure to get the ones that are anti-glare. If you go with just the paper, be on the lookout for rips and make fresh copies when necessary. Now you've got your music and it's time to mark the cut that you will sing. If you're starting on a page that doesn't have the title of the song at the top, make sure to write that in. As far as other markings go, simple clarity is the key. Mark where you want to start by drawing a line from the bottom of the system to the top and write start at the top. A highlighter will make this easier to spot. In this particular case, you would sing through the end of the song, so an end mark isn't completely necessary, but let's add one just to be completely clear. What if you need to make a cut? There are a couple of ways to do this. The easiest is to clearly mark the cut with X's. X out the measures you want to cut. Draw a straight line at the beginning and ending of the cut, and then draw a circle in the middle of the line. Connect those two circles to show that you're going to sing to here, and then cut to here. Remember, your pianist is sight reading and has to take a lot of visual information on the fly. The cleaner and clearer you do markings like this, the better chances of avoiding any confusion during your audition. The clearest way to make a cut takes a little extra work. Physically cut out the portions of the music that you will sing and then tape them to a blank sheet of paper. Make sure you line things up properly. Once you've assembled your new page, make a new copy on a photocopier so that nothing is sticking up off the page. Remember to think about page turns. If you have a two-page cut, place the pages so the pianist doesn't have to turn a page. Most importantly, consult with a coach or pianist if you're at all unsure about where to start or end or what measures to cut. 